Good evening. In keeping with our usual theme, uh, I've got another blind package to check out today. Uh, this is a Sensory FX ASMR pod. It says it's oddly satisfying. I'm not real familiar with ASMR. I did a little bit of uh, Google research. Apparently it stands for Autonomic Sensory Meridian Response, and it has to do with a certain euphoric sensation from certain sounds or images. So I'm really not sure what ASMR is all about. I know basically nothing about it. I think I've seen one or two videos that involve popping bubble wrap or someone speaking in a soft, calm voice like I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to mock it by speaking the way I am, but my understanding is it goes with the whole ASMR thing. So, I really have no idea what's going to be in here or what this is all about. So, we're going to be exploring this together, I guess. Um, so, before I forget, there's the pod. And, uh, it's, I don't know, maybe an inch by two inches. It's not very large. I found this at Walmart in the toy section. It was, I think, right around five bucks. There appears to be multiple layers of this shrink wrap plastic. I don't know if tearing perforations is something that falls under the ASMR category. Okay, here's the second peel here. If peeling perforations is something that falls under the category I don't know if this would be satisfying or infuriating where, I don't know if you can see this, but it's not following the perforations where I'm pulling it apart. Although, I suppose some people might find the simple shredding of cellophane pleasant. You can see how it would be something would be distracting or easy to get hung up on. So here we have the plastic pod itself. It's just clear plastic. Feels fairly thick. I guess it's thicker on the ends than it is on the sides. It's pretty soft stuff. Usual blister pack type plastic. Okay. There's a paper here. 
Selectum All Series 1 Sensory FX ASMR Pods for 4 plus. Oddly satisfying, create unique soothing sounds and effects on ASMR experience. And apparently it's a checklist. Showing all the different various pods. Apparently there are single pods and exclusive pods. I only saw one series of packages so I don't know where or what the exclusive pods are all about. Uh, apparently they are described each pod as, uh, let's see, spin, grind, thread, swivel, ball, Roll, whirl, pop, sift, and extend are the single pods. The exclusive pods are twist and squeeze. I'm supposing that most of these have some form of moving parts. Um, this next layer appears to be just like party streamer crepe paper. It appears I've gotten the Spin pod. It's a gray plastic with a black button. There's no plastic in here, it's just an opening to a cylinder inside. Uh, it appears to be rainbow colored, looks like a sticker. Uh, let's see, so the button. Spins it. My apologies if that's bothersome. Apparently, my camera is adjusting to the color in the window and it's kind of playing with the other colors on the screen as it attempts to adjust. Actually, for myself, I can see how that could be a bit of a fidget, kind of like some people enjoy fidgeting with those fidget spinners that were very popular a few years ago. I can also see how to some people that would get annoying pretty quickly, but that also seems to kind of go along with the whole ASMR thing, some of those acts or, well not necessarily acts, but the, those sounds, uh, those gestures or, or movements I can see could be very soothing to one person and could be very irritating to another. Uh, for myself, a neat little thing. I can't quite tell if that would uh, annoy me faster than it would just become a nervous fidget. Something to expend some nervous energy on. Not sure if I would pick up another one of these, but some of them may be more entertaining than this one. I, like I said, I could see how they would fit that same category as a, a fidget spinner 
or there's also those fidget cubes I've also seen. I actually own both of those types of things. And to me, I think this would be more of a fidget for me personally than it would be anything enormously soothing. I don't think I would get the euphoria that uh, I've seen in the description of ASMR that some people get. I think I would just get that sort of vague soothing of something to focus nervous energy on for whatever the object is to fidget with it in, in the hand, if that makes sense. So, there's another $5 thing to put on the blind box shelf, but uh, I'm not sure, not sure I'd actually really do this one again, I guess it, maybe if it hits the clearance shelf, that's the word I was looking for, it's stuck there for a second. I might pick them up again on the clearance shelf, or I may find a different use with my other toys to do with this one. But uh, as far as a standalone thing, I'm not really getting anything out of this one. It may just be that I got a uh, pod that doesn't appeal to me particularly. Uh, take it, leave it. Uh, leave your thoughts, the comment thingies down there somewhere, I guess. Uh, I don't really know how to set up all those little pop-up things on the video that other people do, but if you're on YouTube, you know where the comment button is down there somewhere. So let me know what you think. Let me know if there's other things out there that you might be interested in seeing. Maybe let me know what blind box you've enjoyed. So, here's one more for the channel. Look forward to hearing from y'all. Be good.